Hey YouTubers, we're gonna switch gears now, switch gears, and we're gonna talk about equations. Boom. So, what is an equation? Well, let's say I'm a chemist. Well, I, I kind of am. Uh, did research and stuff. But anyway, let's say a chemist wants to describe his experiment or her experiment. I'll be like, hmm, let's see. First, I take this apparatus, maybe this beaker or conical flask, and then um, I'm gonna have a, a vessel to uh, react it with, maybe, um, uh, yeah, I'll take this chemical, like I need a couple of chemicals, like maybe an acid, a salt, a metal piece of metal of some sort, I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna, whoa, man, just explaining the experiment, oh, boring. That's why chemists invented this system of giving information to other chemists about experiments in a nutshell, a very simplified way. And that's how chemists came up with equations. An equation is basically an overview of the experiment, a very quick, brief overview. And with enough experience, you can already guess what you need, what you um, need to mix, what you need to do during the mixing, what you need to make out of it, how you're gonna purify your stuff, all that. Because what is we're concerned about is how can we change and make new stuff. All right, so an equation is an overview. And so in any overview, when you do an experiment, you need raw materials, am I right? You need something to start off with. For example, let's say I have a piece of chicken, I got some oil, I got some uh, sauce on the side and stuff like that, and I wanna make grilled chicken, all right? So all that chicken, sauce, oil, and all that seasoning stuff, these are my raw materials. And in any equation, you have an overview of the raw materials you have. And these raw materials are, are called reactants. Things you start off with, the reactants, all right? And then after I cook my chicken, I got boom, a delicious piece of grilled chicken with a glaze on top of it and the seasoning and whoa, mm, I can almost smell it. And so what I get out of it are the my finished stuff, my finished product. And so this is what you make. You get your raw materials, and then when after the experiment, you get your products. So an equation will represent this in a in one line. You get your starting materials, your reactants, and then your products. Now to get from your reactants to your products, you need a signal to tell other chemists that you're making something. And we represent the making of something by an arrow. And this arrow means yield. Yield, okay? And so, when you get your raw materials, you've got your reactants, and then you yield your products. And this here, this short one line here, is an equation, an overview of the experiment. And one type of equation we're going to talk about now is the word equation. Boom. Now what's a word equation? Well, a word equation is just a bunch of words with an arrow and a bunch, another bunch of words. So for example, uh, I have my, let's say, uh, hydrochloric acid, okay, plus my um, alkali, let's say sodium hydroxide, you learn some of these things uh, early on in your uh, secondary career. And I get, uh, let's say, sodium chloride. Now, I'm writing this really big so it doesn't fit on one line, but it should be a one line thing. And I get water, all right? Here is my word equation. So I took a bit of acid, I took a bit of alkali, I mixed them up, I made boom, salt, and water. All right? Notice, what's about this word equation do you see about it? What do you notice about it? Well, first of all, you've got to write long names for them, for all these stuff. 
all the reactants you have here and the products you have here. Secondly, the word equation does not tell you much about the experiment. For example, how much of this do I need? How much of that do I need? How much does this one make? Do I make water? All right. Okay. And also, it doesn't tell us anything about the procedure, like little hints, like do I need to put heat or yeah, a catalyst? I don't know. What about other information? Hmm. What's the physical state that hydrochloric acid is in? What about what is water that I make? Is it an ice water? Is it liquid water? Is it gaseous water? Water vapor? Nothing is said about the word equation. So a word equation, uh, it has its good points. It's just a very, very extremely basic overview of a chemical experiment. But it has quite a number of downsides. However, you still need to learn this in order to uh, just pass your exams.